Hey guys, Gladys Effects here, and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to um, do lens distortion or the where the screen drags back, whatever you you know, whatever you want to call it. Really, I'm just gonna call it lens distortion or you know, screen drag back or whatever, screen distortion. Again, whatever you want to call it. But this tutorial is for beginners because this is extremely easy to do. It only takes a few seconds. What you want to do is go to compositing, click check off these nodes, backdrop, and auto render. Then, what you want to do is you just want to quickly add at the end a lens distortion node, which should be under distort. And then you want to check off projector. And then right here where it says dispersion, you're going to want to put, or you're going to want to put the distort down in the negatives about negative five. Now see what you don't don't check off projector. See what this does. This adds the drag back effect. Now I just quickly made this little thing right here. Now you just basically keyframe this right here until you feel like it looks good. So I would I guess I would just put it like right here. Put a keyframe there, and then about about frame thirty. I don't know, we'll say 20. I'll make it like back here to uh, negative 400. And I'll just set a keyframe there. Then about at frame about 30, we'll put it one more back. And then put it oh, uh, 500, negative 500 at keyframe 30. And about at just about frame 50, put it back down to zero. Now that's just how I usually keyframe it, something like that. And if you want, you can even you can even add these uh, little things right here. So like whenever you pull it back, it like goes distorted like that. I I used I like to do that honestly. So right here, add one at the beginning. I'm gonna add one for zero, and then right here at frame. Once it gets to 30, I'm gonna get one more on the dispersion. Then at frame 50, let's put that back down to zero. Now, there we go. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys right here for this tutorial. You know, for you beginners out there who want to do some cool effects, this is pretty much a good one for you. Uh, I don't really know if the keyframe did good, but because I just quickly got on, made some materials, and started recording, because I was bored, and I did get 29 likes on the last tutorial, and I promised if I got 25 likes, I would make a new tutorial. And I got 29 likes, so if this video gets... Uh, 30 likes I'm going to make another tutorial and I will also be coming up with some intro soon but um, I did just start school y yesterday actually so I'm gonna be very busy with school and everything not gonna be able to upload much and I, not that I upload much anyways that's mostly because I'm busy a lot and this last week has been so stressful and busy and everything so I uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, share it to your friends. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new. And yeah, that's it. Bye.